Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Best Month Ever. Now, I miss playing through games that have a long story where we go from a journey from A to Z with you all, and I get to read the comments about how you feel about a certain part of the video because maybe I was feeling a certain way or maybe I was feeling the same way. So, I miss that. I miss that. I don't think that I've had that feeling since we played through Danganronpa, the, all three of them, actually. But yeah, I miss going through those games where we just go through this journey together. So, this is called Best Month Ever. Let's see how it goes. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up Cause here we go Alright so we got a content warning The game includes scenes and storyline elements That some people may find disturbing and emotionally heavy It contains offensive language, sexual themes and allusions to them A fictional depiction of racism and violence Against various groups of people Player discretion is advised The game is a work of fiction And any resemblance to actual events, locales or persons Living or deceased is entirely coincidental And does not represent historical actualities And Collaborator, essay and Warsaw Film School video game and film production studio do not condone acts depicted within the game. Decisions or actions. 69 was a strange year. The year Uncle Sam got his ass kicked. The young told the old, fuck off. The year when people looked at the earth from a new perspective. The year I found out what it means to be a grown up. I was eight then. My mom worked during the day and studied at night. She was determined to give us a better future. That's good. I learned how to take care of myself because I didn't want to be a burden to her. We didn't know much about each other then. She didn't say much and I didn't ask. But it all changed that summer of 69. What happened to her? Mom found out she didn't have much time left. Oh no, it's going to be one of those sad stories, huh? That's when she told I'm gonna me we'd have to find a new home. She didn't mention it was only for me. Oh, crap. All right, here we go. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have some tears that won't be left in the tank by the end of this one. I cried at the end of Walking Dead. That whole Clementine story, the conclusion, that made me very sad. So I'm not going to fight back tears. So here we go. It's the 1960s. 69, in fact. But here we go. We're pulling up we in the whip. In the car be long mom explain your goal placate the boy i'm so dumb i don't even know what placate means but i'm gonna explain my goal depends how long it takes to convince mr hutt to pay me i don't like him nobody does can i come with you no baby Gotta do this alone. Mitch's character. Game choices change Mitch's personal characteristics. The combination of these traits will determine what kind of person Mitch becomes as an adult. Righteousness determines Mitch's attitude toward the law and following rules. Confidence determines Mitch's self-assuredness. Relations describe Mitch's attitude towards other people. Alright, so we just gotta shape this dude up to be a fine young man. Got it. I can do that. Luis. Jeez Luis. Luis? Good to see you, honey bunch. Got your days mixed up? It's my shift today. Be direct. Talk to the waitress. Talk to the old man. That old man doesn't need any talking to. Let me talk to the waitress. I came to say goodbye, Betty. What? You're leaving? You should do the same. Why? Enough ass slapping for me. Is it a butthole I'd do in the this diner? If I were you. Oh, I envy okay. you. She getting what? harassed. Your guts. It's not guts, Betty. It's a fear of wasting my life in this hellhole. Easy for you to say, but I've got a husband to take care of. Boss around? In the can. With a girly mag? It'll be a while, sweetie. Ew. Oh, I'm out of time. You know, he can't mess with Hut when he's reading. But you can give it a shot. That's disgusting. Who beats me on the job? Okay, let me talk to the old man. Mom really dug Alvin. The war messed him up a bit, and he ended up like most of the vets in a dive bar. So you're leaving us, honey. How'd you guess? Your eyes, you're already gone. I'm gonna miss you, old timer. I'll miss you too. Thanks. Well, that was a pointless conversation. I guess I'll go check over these people. I don't know, just eavesdrop. They look like they just wanna enjoy their meal. Wyatt and Billy, the bikers. When not hogging the road, they sit here Bending the elbow and hitting on waitresses. I wanted to be like them. Why? Hi, Louise. Those guys are losers. Did I hear it right? You're quitting. Confirm, ignore, tell them to buzz off. I mean, there's no point in lying. Just confirm yeah. it. Yeah. 
What's next? I'm just gonna answer evasively. They don't need to know every little detail about Luis's life. I figured Especially it's when you have a kid. You don't wanna let people know too much. Hell yeah. It's kinda weird. Always knew you'd get it, Lou. Saddle up with us. Easy now, Wyatt. Hold your horses before you fall off. I wanna get to the choices where we shape up Those the Those guys brain. were wild, but harmless. And Mitch. Just wanted to be free. Mitchy Mitch. I heard they were killed by a big rig a year later. Oh, these dudes died? They got clapped by a big rig? All my homies hate big rigs. Boring. Oh, so I'm playing as him now? Oh, I am. Okay, I guess we're just gonna dial it down. The controls are weird. I don't understand what's happening. Let me get out the car. Screw this radio bullshit. I don't want to listen to anything. I want to go inside the diner and make some noise myself. I barely remember Hut, mom's boss, but I can still see his red car. Oh, this is the old timer. Hey, old geezer, let me talk to you. Wait. You forgot your money. Here. Here you go, sir. Hello, Mitch. Return the money. You dropped five dollars. Oh. Oh, thanks. You're a good boy. Take yes, care I am. of your mother. She'll need it. Why? She looks like she's having great fun. Take my word for it. Oh, almost forgot. Got something for you. He's gonna give me five dollars. <laughs> oh, a Zippo? The hell am I gonna do with a Zippo? I'm eight years old. Think I'm gonna smoke some shit? Evo Jima? <laughs> old times. I hope it comes in handy on your trip. There I am. Totally not visible to the eye. Are you kidding me, Mitch? Come on. I can teach you better than that. I can what teach you to, how to be a better hider than that. You don't work here no more. Remind about due pay. No, I demand that shit. I came for my Give money. me my money. What fucking money? You're the one who quit. So? You owe me for the last two weeks. I owe you? Okay, let's talk. Come into my office. This guy sounds creepy as hell. I feel like I'm gonna punch him in the face. Oh, here we are. What were we talking about? Right. About you owing me 150 bucks, sweetheart. Express surprise or deny? What? No, deny. Uh, I guess express surprise? What are you talking about? That's how much your quitting cost me. None of my business. I want my 85 bucks. 85 bucks? That's the spirit, honey. I have no time. I need this money. What if I chip in an extra 65 to go with your 85? Would you find the time? No? Any details? No, I don't trust this dude. All I want is what It's like the scratchiness in his voice. I don't believe it. What a pity. Your lack of ambition won't get you very far. You won't even hear my offer? No. Hear the offer? You know what? Let's just hear the what offer. What exactly do you want me to do? You know how lonely Mr. Hutt gets in here? Oh, God. Mitch, cover your ears. Cover your eyes. Confront. Give him the slip. Confront. Go back in the can with your girly mag. Yeah, you perv. I'm not playing hard to get, but really, you put out for anyone, anywhere. Right then, I only wanted my mom to get out of there. Then you're birthing those little bastards nobody wants. Your choice, but you still owe me $150. Insult him, don't get provoked. You know what? Mitch is watching. We have to show him how to be stoic, how to be calm. How to not stoop to their level if we're confronted like that. Or if somebody's talking to us like that, we want to show him, even though we don't know that he's looking, that that's not appropriate to act like that when you're having a conversation, especially to adults. So don't get provoked. Are you done? Then please give me my pay. <sighs> Last chance. $250. thought it was $150. Cold revenge? Hot revenge. Uh, I don't know. Hot revenge? I've got a better idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Bitch! Ooh, damn. Okay, my bad. My bad, mama. I didn't know she was built like that. I mean, I know she was tough, but she's Ford tough. So, how did she's it go? tougher than a $2 steak. Oh, well, we know how it went. Oh, yeah, just take the money from the register. What you doing, Lee? I'm robbing the joint. Take 85. Clean out the register. <laughs> Yo, I'm cleaning this hoe out. That dude's an asshole. Oh, I'm breaking the law? I mean, I know I'm breaking the law, but it showed like a police badge. Keep the money, give Betty $10 for your troubles. Here's a 10 spot to chill you out. 
Does $10 go a long way in the 1960s? Cause goddamn, that is nothing. You fucking bitch! Run! I'll fuck you up! Go! Oh no. Wow! Okay, we really got punched what in the, the face. Fuck? And this dude's Get just gonna the shove the man? Joint. Hey, why? Is it just me? Or is Fatso asking for it? Oh, he's asking for it. Nah, Billy. Man's looking like the dude from Red Dead you. Redemption. Keep on trucking, Louise. Thanks. She really took a right hook. Mitch! Mom! Is it true what Mr. Hutt said? About what? That nobody wants me? Is that why we're leaving? Oh, come on, dude. What? No, sweetheart. Hutt is a bad man and he's talking nonsense. But his karma just caught up with him. What's karma? Karma? That's karma. I'll tell you later. Where'd you get this lighter? It's Iwo Jima. Got it from Alvin. Can I borrow it for a sec? Is she gonna light the diner on fire? Wait for me in the car, okay? No. Imagine! She lights that shit up! Oh, set on fire? Nah, come on! Really? Now we just committing crimes on crimes. I thought this is supposed to shape up Mitch's uh, thinking in life. I'm over here just setting fires to cars? Hey, it is what it is, Mitch. Don't look at this. I'm a bad influence. <laughs> oh shit, I almost snorted. Cause I was like, damn, this is me as a parent? This will be the best month ever. Yeah, it will. Damn, even got the background explosions, Michael Bay style. So yeah, that's the intro to best month ever. So it was like a mini tutorial. So every choice that we make shapes what Mitch is going to be in the future. As a parent myself, I really want the best for my own son. So I'm gonna play this as if Mason was the one here and I'm Luis, okay? I'm not just gonna make decisions where I'm just like, ho, 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 that's freaking hilarious. I'm actually gonna make some choices that I think that I would make if me and my son were in this scenario, okay? What the hell is this? Why does that even matter? 1961. Oh, okay. Apologize to Grandpa Elijah this instant, Louise. You scared him half to death. Fuck Grandpa Great. Elijah. Great, I hope he dies. Yeah. A slow, slow death. Damn! Everybody just slapping Louise? What is she, a punching bag? I'm walking away. I'm not slapping Mom or whoever that is. I'm better than that. No wonder Dad ran away from you. Yeah, as a parent, You'll never see I'm going to make again. all the choices that I would make if my son were what with me and watching me at all times. You back. Oh, yeah. Throw the finger. That's exactly what I would have done. Nah, you know what? As disrespectful as a parent would get to me, I don't know. I don't know if you all would agree with this, but I just wouldn't do that. I wouldn't give that same energy. I feel like I would be better than that. I would be above that. But it's 1969, a.k.a. present day. Later, mom told me coming back home was the stupidest idea she'd ever had. That's a nice house, though, for 1969. The house is so huge. What are we waiting for? Let me talk to Mitchie. Mitch, my boy. My only boy in this world. Okay, never mind. Let's go, Mitch. The controls are probably the worst part about this game so far. Because the graphics, like, they look weird, but I like it. But the controls are just... Ugh. Ding dong, ping pong, baby. Hi, you must be Butch. Who the fuck is that guy? And who are you? The police? Shut up, Butch. You ain't funny. I'm family. Why do I always have the option to provoke? I'm not trying to provoke, okay? Family. Please. I'm your auntie. I don't know you. Is your mom around? Mom! Some aunts here. Some aunts here? You mean your aunt? And yeah, I've been neglectful of taking care of you. I need to get you a bigger shirt, my boy. Louise? Cautious greeting, joyful greeting. Let's just go for a joyful greeting. It's our sister after all. Kathy, I missed you guys so much. Mm. Sorry, Lou, my hands are messy. You sure about that? Sure, sorry for dropping in on you like this. Is your body messy too? Cause you backed the whole um, thing away. That? My son, Mitch. It's time he met his family. Say hello to your auntie and your cousin. Hello, auntie. A cousin? You lie. Why? Because he's colored. Answer sarcastically. 
Answer reasonably. Why would we be sarcastic about that? What's the difference? You don't know? Gee whiz, Mom. Are they our family? Butch sound like another B word. That sounds like butch. But you just replace Come a vowel with something else. You know what I mean? Passing through. Tell the truth or lie. Let's tell the truth. No, I'd like to stay a while. Is that possible? Uh, unfortunately, we've got guests already. I have no room for you. Kathy? This place is deader than a cemetery. Who's that? Some Louise, Granny. Some Louise. Oh shit, that's mom. That's mom's. She's still mad? Louise. Petty as shit. I knew you'd be back with your tail between your legs. Mitch, meet Granny. Hello, Granny. Where's your daddy? Did he leave you, poor child? It runs in the family. Ooh. Um, I guess we're not Louise staying wants here. To stay with us. <laughs> but it's not the best time, right? Oh fuck! It could have worked out better. This conversation. But maybe we shouldn't decide until Grandpa's back from his walk. Suit yourself. What was your name again, kid? It's Mitch, Granny. Don't you granny me. Just Margaret if you must. Understood? What the hell? Can I say that too? Hey, shut your bitch ass up. Boys, uh, go and play outside. Just like old times, mom making a pie with her daughters. You learned how to make a pie. No, but I can show you where the flower is. These conversations are just awkward. And Butch is probably just gonna be giving shit to Mitch anyway. Watch this bitch. Can you do that? Do what? Lift up a flower pot? Two thinks he's so cool, huh? Your turn. Check me out. Watch this. He needs some milk. My dad was in the Marines. And you know what he said about the blacks? Can't wait to hear it. He said the blacks are strong and dumb. But you're not even strong. Push Butch or insult Butch. I have two options. You know what? Let me just roast his ass back. Did he also tell you you look like a lard ass? <laughs> <laughs> Back off or I'll mess you up. But you oh, can't bro. throw either. He definitely sounds like one of those after school bullies. Come on, your turn. Oh shit, one of these things? Oh! Oh god. Knucklehead. What, because I couldn't hit bet that freaking miss pot? Alright, let's do it again. What's the bet? The loser will say, I'm a knucklehead. Okay. Deal. Is that the worst thing that you can Not say in 1969? Get it. Here we go, let's do this. One, two, boom! Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> I was Gold playing with him the first the time. Just Olympics. testing the waters. You lost. Say it. I'm the king. I knew he was going to do that. Cheater. He just seemed like okay. a whack-ass dude. Now I choose the target. How about that thing? Okay. Whatever that is. We aim for the ball on the roof. Yeah, it fell up there once. I start. Really? Okay, that one seems like a harder target. One, two, three, boom! Oh, I think I got it right in the money, too. Yeah, boy! Lucky shot. Does he have a slingshot in the back of his pants? Oh, wow, you're a freaking Scram. idiot. Oh, he's gonna blame me! He's gonna blame me for this bullshit. I already know he is. He's gonna be like, he did it, he did it, mom. Like the little bitch he is. He just looks like a weasel. Butch, Mitch, where the hell are you? Don't tell her it was me. Who else could it have been? Refuse, agree, negotiate. What's in it for me? Yeah. I'll give you my dinner sandwich. I don't want your sandwich. So what you want? You'll say something that's hard for you to say. You'll give me something you like. Yeah. What's your favorite toy? Oh, a slingshot, right? Uh, the Sherman. The, the tank? The one that blows the gooks away, Nam. I have patents and Nam. All right, I'll take the Sherman. No, my dad gave it to me. Then I'll tell him it was you. You're a bastard. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right choice. 
I really wouldn't want Mason to be Come like out. that. But then again, this dude was being hella racist towards him. Who broke the window? What's going on? Come on, spill it. Mitch or Butch? Wait, what? Butch. Butch did. Back to your room and not a peep I'm just telling dinner. the truth. Grandpa will punish you when he gets Honestly. back. Right? Luke, the truth shall set you free. I said it shall set you free. But Mitch was just telling the truth. I need to restart the camera, by the way. Louise, let Mitch take the blame. What? Are you nuts? You know how harsh grams can get with kids. I'll figure out a way for you to stay with us for a while. Agree or refuse? You know how harsh Gramps can get with the kids. I'll figure out a way for you to stay with us. Uh, okay, that's tough because she's going to do something that would help us out a lot, which is to stay because that was Luis's goal is to stay there for a little while. But if we tell the truth that it was Butch, then we're just going to get kicked out of the house and not have anywhere to live. So I'm just going to agree. Okay. Because it's I'll the best Mitch, situation for me and my refuses, son. But if he refuses, you'll do your best to get rid of us, right? That's not it, Lou. I beg you. Lou, can you help me with something upstairs? I feel like the mom has like different Don't personalities. Don't let them use you. Wasn't she so mean earlier? Window. What did you see? Butch throwing a rock through the window. We know. He confessed already. But Grandpa doesn't know. We'll tell him when he gets back. Perhaps. But Kathy will do anything to keep Butch out of this. But you can tell the truth. I don't know. I just want for us to get along. Oh, now you want us mm -hmm. to get along? Go to your boy. He's playing in Butch's room. She doesn't even accept Mitch. She won't even let him call her granny. Fuck you. I'm leaving. I'm telling the truth. You know what? Screw this. I changed my mind. We don't need to stay here. Sometimes, you know, even if it's shelter, if it's a toxic environment, it's worse than having no shelter at all. But yeah, this whole place just screams toxic. I kind of want to get out of here. Let's look at this thing. Fuck. There was a rifle on the wall. Always loaded in case some communist showed up at their doorstep. Yeah, you can tell they have American pride. They have like four flags everywhere. What's this? Mom told me that Auntie Kathy read fairy tales for her at night. Her mother had never done that, and neither did mine. Oh, okay. Sorry. Are you talking about Luis? Because Mitch is the narrator. That house was terrifying. All they had were memories. This is a photo of grandfather's family, just after having arrived to the States from Poland. They turned more American than Americans. Hmm. Grandpa's almost here. Go upstairs and call the boys for dinner. Fine. Yeah, I don't like the vibe here, everybody. Something's just off. Like, you know when you walk into a place and something doesn't feel right? That's exactly how I feel being in this environment right now. At least they're kind of just chilling, right? Butch, mom's calling you. Like, Butch isn't being racist or anything? She took out a bag of chips. He's like, oh boy, chips my favorite. <laughs> oh, butchy, butchy, butch. Okay, let's look. That says... Oh, okay, so the sisters. Hmm, that's not how I remembered that room. Mom, check out these awesome toys Butch has. I guess all he plays is war. Boys always play war. Right. And then you perish in war. Like Butch's dad? Yes. Damn, that was cold. Like my dad? <laughs> no, sweetheart. Your dad went missing in action in peacetime. <laughs> Will he ever be found? Butch has some cool posters, look. I like how she just sidestepped. She just Euro-stepped that whole thing. Okay, Luis, I see you. Blast girl and... Private Patriot, Mysterious Murder, Speed. Okay, wait, what's that? Old wallpaper. 1951. It's almost 20 years ago. You don't believe a lying eight-year-old, do you? 
What if she's not lying? She's just craving attention. My father would never allow such disgrace. Uh, how many times do I have to listen to what your father wouldn't allow? We live in his house. That's exactly our problem. Go on, get scared so the whole world can see how low this family has fallen. I don't want them to argue. You shouldn't have lied about Father Judah. Who? It wasn't a lie. One day, Daddy will leave us because of your lies, or Grandpa will kick him out. I don't know who Father Judah is, but if Father Why Judah's is a priest, so I believe whatever she's it's saying. It's just a window. Warn about this family, suggest taking the blame. Let's warn him about this family, that they can't be fully trusted, even though they are part of our blood. You're right. But don't let them talk you into taking the blame. Come on, Mom. I'm not a knucklehead. Anyhow, how do you like it here? Do you want to stay longer? Do you? Yes. No, I don't. I want to be where you are. Aw, what a good kid. Oh, Louise, shit. Louise, Grandpa's back. The devil call herself. Time. Come on. Remember. Roll call? Don't take the blame. Yep. Come meet your great-grandfather. Oh, great-grandfather. Okay, so it's not even the grandfather. I see how that house was changing her, and not for the better. It was far worse than the sickness which was eating her from inside. I was dreading what would happen if she decided to stay there, and I wanted to go away. But more attractions were still to come. Oh boy. Here goes Butch blowing smoke up somebody's ass again. Let's do a little kiss ass, isn't he? It's the only song he knows how to play on the trumpet, too. Enough! Yeah, see, Enough even Elijah boys. can't stand it. You practiced for two years and still can't stay in tune. That's when I understood why I should have taken the blame for breaking the window, and that we needed to get out of there. Grandpa, can Mitch play? L Louise? Mitch? That kid can play a bugle? Answer with confidence. Better than Always fatso, gotta be confident. For sure. Damn, Mitch. better than fatso. I didn't mean to say all that. <laughs> Fresh, just like it's mom. Hey, but Grandpappy likes it, so it is maybe what we it should is. start dinner. It is what it is. No, no. Let him show what he's got. Watch him Can start playing some crazy else? shit, Can like you? some club music. He's just like. Grandpa Elijah gets up off his wheelchair and starts dancing. He's like, bah, 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 bah. Hey. 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 Everybody starts tearing up. They're like, It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. That would make this game 10 times better if they did that. But yeah, uh, Mitch, that gets a round of applause for me. I did not know that you could do that. So, Louise. What the heck? You've grown. Oh, that's Father Judah. Is this gifted boy your son? What the heck? Apologize to Father Judah for your lies this instant. But it's all true, Mommy. Do we really have to do it this way? If you can't take care of this, I will. No need. Kids make things up sometimes. Okay. And let us live in I get it. this truth for your glory. Oh, he's definitely a priest. Um, Fuck no. What was it you were trying to tell me earlier, Katy? Uh, the boys were playing and the window got broken. Broken by itself? I mean... Louise, perhaps you know which boy broke the window? None of them broke it. It was a ghost!
boost. Mitch did say, the adult version, that he should have taken the blame for the broken window. So I'm just going to go with what adult Mitch was saying. And I'm just going to go with Mitch. Because I think Mitch. it's going to be easier for the grandpa to swallow. <laughs> what a mad house. Just replace the glass because it's drafty. Let's see it. It's getting cold. See how easy that was? Enjoy. See how easy that this was? This be the best time, Grandpa, but can we talk? Okay, so we made the right choice. No time I'm going right to give myself a pat on the back. You know the vibe. I'll get to the point then. Can my son and I stay here a while? Does he know how to read? Does he know how to read? His name is Mitch. Go ahead. And yes, he can read. Show him what you're made of. Take the holy book. It's on the table. Holy bug, holy shit. All right. But I'm supposed to do the reading. Mitch is our guest, sweetheart. I'll get on your stool so we can all see you. Grandpa? Quiet. Oh, calm down with that attitude, Grandpa. Luke 1511. Be so kind and read it aloud, boy. Father, give me the share of the estate I have coming to me. Not many days later, the younger son gathered together all he had and traveled to a distant country where he squandered his estate in foolish living. After he had spent everything, a severe famine struck that country. Enough. Don't know what's that about, kid? About the prodigal son? About family being the most important thing. I thought it was money. Sit. Louis, I'm happy you have found your way home. So am I. I was the only one who wasn't happy. I don't think that your mom is happy. I Welcome think she's just lying. Welcome back home, my little girl. Yeah, this home just has a weird vibe. Mom, Serial killer can vibes. I have a black cousin? You do have a I'm black cousin. I'm not done yet. What do you mean, can I have one? You already do. It was God's will for Lou to return to us, right, Lou? I guess so. What is Lou talking his about? Will that we share weird. this moment with our good family friend. The same who has been with us for 30 years. The same whom you wronged so terribly. You mean the one who's getting away with all these lies? Look at this! Bro, lock the door! How you trust that? I would never let anybody be in a room alone with my son. Cause I would- What are you playing, Luis? I'll probably go to prison for House. the things that I would do to Father Judah. Can I play with you? Fuck no. If I heard that, I probably would break the door down. Like if I heard that from the outside as a parent. Mmm, yummy candy. Want some? This is disgusting. Trust- Don't trust, obviously. No. Because you already ate it, father. When we're alone, you can call me Uncle Judd. Uncle Judd? There's more in my pocket, but I need your help. That's disgusting. That is disturbing. Can you help me get it out? No. I feel so Please. bad for little kids. Apologize to When shit like that happens. Your and life. you know that happens, too. Say you made it up and... Rejoin your family. That pisses me off. Like, honestly, that happens to millions and millions of people around the world where, like, a family member or a family friend takes advantage of a little kid and they don't know any better. So for Luis to tell the parents that something wrong was happening to her and they don't believe her and they believe the other guy, fuck, man. I wish nothing but bad things on those kinds of people. But apologize to the whole family so Mitch can stay here. Apologize for what Father Judah did to you. Hell no. Ah. <sighs> I wish we could just say, fuck Father Judah and leave. I would definitely do that in real life. Apologize to the whole family so Mitch can stay here. Yeah, I'm just going to apologize to the family. Everybody expects me to apologize. I understand this is the condition for me to be part of this family. Better now than never, Lou. Father Judah, will you accept my apology? This game is just pissing me off. I wish there was different Only options. Only if you feel compelled. I apologize that as an eight-year-old, I didn't let you touch me. Good. That I bit your finger when you put it under my dress. Good for you for exposing his asshole. That I touched your face when your hand... 
Louise! Mom, I'm sorry I told you about this. I thought you'd help me. Enough of this. I apologize to you too, Grandpa Elijah. That the fear of you made me pee in my panties. And to you, Kathy, that you had to change my panties in secret. Dinner is over! Get me out of here, Judah. Sit down, I'm not done yet. Yeah, Luis. Talk to him. <gasps> oh, shit! No! The strap! Oh, it's a cheap, cheap type oh! shit! Luis! What the Put heck? the weapon down. <laughs> I'd like to hear your confession. You're frightening your own son. Mom! Put the gun down, shoot the family portrait. Uh, shoot the family portrait. <laughs> Fuck this. The truth prevails, thank God. I'm sorry, Louise. Father Judah has touched me too, and did other things far worse. But I was afraid that if I told the truth, they would all hate me just like you. You're supposed to have your sister's back. I am shocked, Judah. You knew about this. You're you supposed to have your sister's knew. back, Kathy. You are crazy. I mean, at the end of the day, I guess I better late than never, right? Long ago. Now, confess, Uncle Judd. You still have candy in your pocket, don't you? Mom, was it wrong for me to take candy from Uncle Judd? <gasps> you gave candy to my little boy? Oh, shit. Butch, too? To <laughs> oh, fuck! Kathy, let go. I'll take that. Let's so go we just in. shooting the people now? We just killing people now and we're gonna get away with murder? We legit just killed somebody in front of Mitch and Butch. Those are two Mitch, young, quick. innocent minds, and they just saw death right in front of their eyes. That is nuts. But... Please! Oh, crap. I didn't have the opportunity earlier, so now it's probably our last chance. What? Dad's been looking for you. What? I'm sorry, I didn't say anything before. I thought Dad was dead. He left his address. I guess he just left the mom because he couldn't stand that toxic bullshit. 5 Roosevelt Street, Hope, Texas. Find him. I've never had the guts. Okay. Take care of yourself, Kathy. Drive fast. We'll say it was you who killed him. But yeah, I guess I could understand why Kathy didn't say anything till now. She said that she didn't want the family to hate her like everybody hated Luis. And, I didn't you know, see the I can understand that. The bullet. Because you have Just this fear that floor. nobody's going to believe you because nobody believed your sister. So why would you even say anything so nobody can believe you too? I get that because sometimes when, you know, you After see that, things in your family, for a long even though you know it's the truth, you see how they react the to it. So you don't want to be part of that because you already know. Night. That but at least the reaction is not going to be good or not in your favor. Around. I get it. But that doesn't make it right, though. But I, I'm just saying I'm I can sorry. understand why Kathy didn't say anything until now. You. All I wanted for you was to get to know your family, and that was the stupidest thing I could have done. It wasn't supposed to end like this. Did that priest ever hurt you? Yes, he did. Mom stopped talking, and I was afraid to ask. It's good we didn't stay there. We'll manage. You and me. What kind of place is this? You like it here? I guess so. I used to come here when I couldn't stand home anymore. It was my asylum. What's asylum? A place where you can hide from the whole world. Our this fish place here? sucks. Used to be. Go, find out for yourself. Okay. I'll look for bait worms. There's a shovel in the car. I'll find some firewood. Yo, where the hell am I? Why am I all the way out here, bro? This is how people get abducted by aliens and are never seen again. I've watched a bunch of documentaries on people that just go missing from shit like this. Like, did you all know that the number one place where people go missing is from national parks? Shit that looks exactly like this. Like, I gotta get out of here. 
Like, that's one thing that I'm going to teach Mitch. That's something that I'm going to teach my own son is never go to a national park alone. They say that the point of separation is when people go missing. Like, for a split second. Where the hell do I go fishing? Oh, my dumbass did not see that diamond right over there. Or is that an upside down square? That is a place where I could just Let's go fishing. Let's just leave it at that. Here. Who taught you how to fish? Alvin. Alvin? The old man from my diner? Yeah. Sometimes we'd go fishing when you were working. The hell's a grown ass man doing spending time with a little kid? Working. Many things. I don't know. I kind of find that weird sometimes. When I was your age, my dad, your grandfather, would take me here. Give me he those promised fish. to teach me how Give to me those fish, fish, but one day he just didn't come home. Get those work. gang of school fish over here. Just didn't come home. What the hell are they doing dancing around that reef? That, he was gone and I never saw him again. That wasn't exactly true. Mom saw my grandfather once more, but at a time she really didn't want to see him. Guide fish to the bait. How do you do that? Oh, I did it. I Look, that? the fish are close to the bait. Oh, they just we'll automatically go. Okay. Got it. Oh, oh poor he's fish. Feisty. I'll manage. Just need to pull her closer to us. I mean, I would eat the Holy Ghost out of that. Oh yeah, I'm a clicking master. Watch me click this shit. Watch me click that Got shit. Her. Come on now, stop playing with me. I'm the clicking mouse Let's king. Catch That's what they call me. That's what they used to call me in school. No, nobody ever called me that. Mostly because I never went to school. What? What happened to I the fish? You. you want me to? Let's try. All right. You gotta wait patiently until the fish is interested in the bait. When you feel the bite, you gotta strike. Then you start reeling her in. Try it. I wasn't okay. thinking about it then, but this was the first time we did something together and had great fun. I didn't know that it was going to be our last time. Spoiler alert! I was happy, and I thought that this was truly the best month of our lives. I had no clue that Mom was just warming up. What do you mean, just warming up? What are we about to do? Play a basketball <laughs> game? Get the She's blood huge. flowing and shit? Wait until she takes the bait. Take Strike. it, take it. Got him. Here, watch I this. Got it. I got the it. clicking mouse king is Eat what they call now. me. Just reel her in. Let me reel that bad boy in. Watch this, watch this. Ooh! She's so like huge. That? This, a little bit of that. You know what I do. You know the vibes. Dinner time. Can we roast them over the fire? Sure, kid, but we need to gut them first. Did you do that with Alvin? We always let them go alive. Aww. That's cute. Mitch should kill the fish. Allow Mitch not to kill the fish. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. You start the fire. Was that the best choice? I thought we were just gonna let them go and let them live. Maybe just eat a Nutri-Grain bar or something. Were those invented in 1969? I have no clue. But yeah, um, I thought that we were just gonna let the fish go. Cause I don't know. Maybe it just teaches him that even though you catch things, you can let them go if they're not really yours. Some deeper meaning bullshit like that. I didn't know a campfire fish tastes so good. <laughs> we make a good team. We could open a fried fish joint. You would fish and I would fry them and serve the customers. What would we call this place? Uh, campfire fish. Oh, mom. Why not? Simple and clear. Got a better one, champ? I do. Mitch and Louise's. That definitely sounds like a 1960s oh. diner. I like it. Like ones that you pass by on I a lonely road. I need you to grow up to tell you some things, but. But I'm almost grown up. Almost. Sometimes I think it's me who should grow up. You're still young. You've got time for that. What's that? Fireflies. Fireflies. Never seen them before? They're everywhere. You want to be a grown-up, but you don't know about fireflies. Well, you didn't know how to fish. In that case, let's play a game I used to always beat your grandpa in. Whoever catches the most fireflies into a jar wins. Okay, catch as many fireflies as possible. This is what we're doing? I thought this was the best month ever. The hell? I wouldn't even do this shit if you paid me. Come on. Get it. What are we what am I doing? Okay, I'm definitely not winning. 
I am definitely not winning this. Grab it! Bro, these controls, they will be the death of me. I wouldn't even wish this shit on my worst enemy. Come on. Get that. Grab it! I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. I did not mean to hit these high notes. That's why I wanted to play this game, because I wasn't in the mood to hit high notes today. But I guess I'm still hitting them high notes. Grab that. Come on, kid. This is the lessons that I'm teaching my son? Fuck, man. I do not want to be in second place, because it's not first. There you go. Grab that. Come on. Did I hear a bear? I thought I heard a bear. I'm getting paranoid. How many did you get, Mom? Four. I only caught a few. Ha, <laughs> loser. Ha <laughs> ha. I won. I got so many. Grandpa must have sucked then. Because I was the struggling and I still be here. The master. I just remembered a childhood mystery. Her face looked creepy as, as girl, shit. girl, I wrote a letter and put it in a coffee can. And I hid it in a tree hollow over by those rocks. Her face looks scary as shit. I really? don't like this. Is it still there? I don't there? trust this. No idea. But we could find out if you'd like. Sure, let's go. Pretty sure it's there. Find Luis's tree. Mom, why does great grandpa hate me so much? He doesn't what? hate you. Wait. Why are you thinking about that now? No yeah, reason. these controls are. He hates Something. everybody, especially himself. Don't worry about him, okay? We're done with that place. Where do I go? Oh, I have to go to that one place where I thought I was going to get abducted by aliens. All right. I got you, Mom. I got you. Mom, how will we find that tree? I carved the letter L on it. Oh? An adventure. I don't know Yay! the letter. I never take those. Is this it? This has got to be it. This is the only tree in existence, and it happens to say L. Oh, wait, no, there's a bunch. Prove me wrong. L, L, L? No Ls, just like me. This is my tree. There's nothing here. I don't see anything either. I bet you it's this big tree right here. It's gotta be. There's no way it's the first tree back there. Watch this. I bet you all $5. You all owe me five dollars. Wait, that's not it? Nothing here either. I'm sure I marked that tree. Wait, I owe people five dollars? That was a long time ago, Mom. Nah, no way I owe people five dollars. Fuck these trees! Alright, let's get this one. Yeah, buddy. I guess it is the first one. That's nuts. Wow, it was really the There's first the one. Letter L. This must be the tree. It was the one you least suspect. That's there. crazy. I got it. Oh, it's right there. What's in the letter? I don't even remember. Let's get back to the fire. Dear Dad, I miss you so much and I'd like to be with you. Mom says that I'm a liar and that you left because of me. I didn't lie. Grandpa and Mom are very mad at me. I don't like them either. Please come and take me away. If I knew where you were, I would run away to be with you. I love you very much. P.S. I don't know where you are now, so I can't send you this letter. <laughs> I'll put it in a secret place, and when I know your address, I will send it to you. Your little Lou. Did you try to find Grandpa? No. I was dreaming that he would come back for me one day. I'm very curious to see what but the dad looks come. like. When I was 17, I ran away on my own. By then, I was already angry with him for leaving me with them. Where's my dad? I don't know where he is now, but a while ago, we would have probably found him in some bar. He was a vet, like Alvin? <laughs> no. But he played the trumpet beautifully. Ah. Is that why you bought me a trumpet? So you that's where he got those like skills him? from. Yes. I'm gonna show you something now. When I was little on starry nights, we would lie down with your grandpa by the fire and connect the stars into our own constellations. I've done that before. Wanna try? Mm-hmm. This game gives me Life is Strange vibes. In this game, you have to find a new constellation. Okay, I, I already see some right here. I see a bird. 
Where? Where? Oh, okay. Like that? Oh, I have to connect it like that. No, no, I don't. The heck? How do I do this? Bird. Yes, that's a bird. I that's see a there. bird? My Man, I'll start that's that more star. pointy titties than anything. That's not a bird. What the hell are you talking about? Guess. Bird. They look a bird. What's that? It's a heart. Nice. Okay, I can see now that. My but turn. that's a bird? Come on, that's the Rocky Mountains, if anything. Stop playing with me. What about over here? What's this? Zigzag. It's lightning. You got it. Mom, your dad was cool. How was mine? He was cool, too. What do we do now? Now we go to sleep. <laughs> what do we do now? And tomorrow morning, Close your eyes and shut up. Friend to visit. <laughs> that evening, by the fire, I began to understand what it means to be a grown-up. What? We were like two people who've been deprived of something in childhood. Right then, I understood that the void I felt was about missing my father. Mm. But how can you miss someone you don't know? That's deep. That's a deep, deep question. Damn. And then an eight-year-old thought of that? Holy shit. If my son told me that at eight years old, I would be like, when did you learn to get that deep? That's insane. That really got me thinking about that question. How can you miss someone you don't even know? Damn. That's tough. That's tough. I'm assuming that's the father. You still here, Lou? That's the dad, Frank. Frank the Tank. Is this where he used to play? Yeah. All right. Maybe he's here. I've never heard mom talk about any friends, but this one was supposed to loan us gas money. Didn't we steal Can a bunch of money? It, but Black Daisy won't be able to dance with a broken leg. Are we doing a refund? No. We're planning a little surprise. We open in two hours. Kiki around? Uh-huh. Check in the back. Kiki. Hey, shout out, Kiki. Yeah, yeah. I'm still here. Your friend is a cleaner around here? Worse. He's the boss. Oh, Kiki's a dude? All right. Let's go see Kiki. I bet you Kiki has long hair, a Hawaiian t-shirt, and a whole lot of attitude. Naked? Explain? Let's Nobody explain. would look at this poster if she were dressed. I would explain to Mace. I would. I would just be straight up. That's the one thing I'm going to be with Mace. It's straight up. So I'm going to be straight up like Luis is with Mitch. Hello? What's going on? I can't knock on the door? What the hell? I know. I know. I get it. But you're also an actress. No, a 15-minute gig is not a whole day. <laughs> Kiki, I'm oh, here. That's the going rate, right, sweetie. Watch this. Long no, hair, we can't accept Hawaiian the panties, shirt. But bet on it. I bet my $5 back. I know, honey, but it's just a dance. Hello. Hello. Fuck. For that kind of money, I could get Liz Taylor's tits. Oh, word. Hi, Kiki. Those tits? Jeez, what's next? You Never got mind. some nerve to show your face around here after all these years. Charm, apologize. Always got to be charming. Oh, you really cared so much for little Lou? Seriously? Trying to charm an old fruit? In case you don't know, I almost went bust because of you. Oh, my bad. I thought we were joking. And I thought we were playing around. you stole my best musician. I didn't steal anybody. Frank could have been somebody with me. He was already somebody without you. He was. So why did you come here anyway? I need some cold hard cash. Tell the truth. We always gotta tell the truth. I need help from my old friend. Get the fuck out, Lou. Friends don't disappear for 10 years without a word. I mean, he's right. Kiki ain't never tell any lies. 
What? Fuck Yvonne. We can't refund the tickets because we're out of dough. How many bastards pulled out? How many? Then lie that we've got someone better. I'm guessing it's gonna be Luis. We are fucked. <laughs> Short on rebel teen chicks dancing for room and board? Those days are over. I'd love to reminisce, Lou, but I've got other problems. Kiki, I can dance. Get lost, Lou. You're pissing me off. It's simple. You need a dancer, I need the dough. That's facts. You've aged, Lou. Damn! You, Tell me I'm old I without saying I'm technique. old. People want to see tits, not technique. I still have two left. Are you in I or out? I still have two left. I used to have terms. three. The gate for me, tips for you. Deal. Let's bargain a little bit more. Let's see if we can just squeeze every single penny that we can. Plus 10% from the bar. Five. Seven and a half. Deal. Do people just love just throwing that word around? Fucking regret this. We've got a girl, Yvonne. I don't know, but we won't get another. Put this on the bill. The big comeback of little Lou. That's Find the best you could do. I can't come up with a better headline. Hey kid, you look just like your old man. You know that? Uh oh. See, you just pushed the buttons that I didn't want Your you to push. Is strange. He's a good man. He did is help he? me once, but I let him down. Little Lou, they're chanting Little Lou, Little Lou, Little Lou. I forgot I have to click this shit. What's up, Lou? You're on. I can't, Frank. Is it about that guy talking to Kiki? The one with the smoke? Oh, he don't want to smoke with me. Yes. Is he following you? Does he bother you? No. So who is he? Frank, let's get out of here, now. What about the show? Kiki put up a lot of dough, he'll kill us. I'm gonna drop everything just because you saw a ghost. Who is that? My father. Ooh, yikes. Him seeing you like that? Yeah, that's definitely awkward as hell. But you know what? You what are the chances he'll be there again? With what? And then he's like a some what regular. What to put on? Gloves, corset, feathers. Let's go with corset. White, black, minty, red, pink. Let's go with red. Maybe a different corset. Mom, do I really look like dad? Um, answer evasively, confirm. Yeah. Kiki has a good eye for these things. What happened to him? And the conversation? Let's just tell the truth, like I said. Always tell the truth to your kids. I don't know. We split up before Fuck. you were born. Am I done? It's done. What do you think? Yeah. Let's make fun of it. Is this a Halloween costume? <laughs> Watch out, kiddo, or we'll dress you up next. You stressing me out is not helping. I wonder if the outfit choice is going to determine how much money I get at the end. Gloves? Let's go with black. Hmm. I'll change my gloves. Why did you split up? Why can't we talk about this? Because I'm going on stage now. First time in 10 years and I'm clueless. Am I done? It's done. What do you think? Ew. Let's just say too skimpy. It looks like the naked ladies from the posters. Are you sure? Let's call Kiki. That shit look kind of corny. But I'm mom, not even you lie. look like the naked ladies. Okay, as good as it gets. Okay. Yes? I'm ready, Kiki. I'm coming. Can I go with you? No, it's not for you. Are you gonna take your clothes off? Hope not. Tell the truth or lie. Oh, you have to. Oh, crap. Yes. I don't want you to get undressed. It's no big deal. I'll get it over with and then we'll have a cool I thought vacation. she was just gonna dance. I didn't know she was gonna take her whole clothes off. Well, well, well. Let me see you. 
I want to see little Lou. Mm-hmm. What do you think, kiddo? Is your mother sexy? Hold up. Why would you even ask that, Kiki? Come on, read the room, bro. You got Don't a brain in there, Kiki? Kiki? Well, I think little Lou is still hot. Looks like we're gonna have a show after all. Bro's weird. Wait for me here, Mitch. Weird energy. I'll be energy. back soon. Yeah, he just... He gives me a creepy vibe. Everybody in this game gives me a weird vibe. Of course I didn't intend to wait in the dressing room. But I really wanted mom just to dance without undressing. Same, Mitch. Oh, no. We're actually gonna go out? <laughs> Ew. Wait, are we gonna see the mom? Come on, man. Move the controls, bro. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we're gonna... Uh-oh. That guy's there. They're still chanting Little Lou? Even after all this time? Fuck. Let's go here. I had to find a key to this door to bypass Kiki's bouncer. Okay. Find the key. That's my objective. Okay. Let's go over to the Kiki's room. Kiki's room. He's gotta have the key. Because he has the key to everything. He's the boss. Let's go inside here. Um, it's got to be in the desk. Come on now. Yep, there it is. What about here? Like, what is all this shit? There was also a zebra in there, presumably alive once. That's gross. Oh, that's him. I didn't realize it then, but that's where I saw my father for the first time. And that's little Lou. Huh. I don't even want to check out what that statue says. Okay, so they were the two headliners at this place. And then they ended up getting together and having Mitch. All right, all right, okay, okay. Well, yeah, let's get past this bouncer. I could take that guy. Even eight-year-old Mitch could take that guy, let's be real. But you know what, let's do it the sneaky way. I guess we're gonna see little Lou. Even though I really don't want to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Madame de Monsieur presenting little Lou. Presenting Little Lou. Show us what you can do, girl. I picked the wrong outfit, didn't I? Dance. Already. What? Fuck no. Just gonna dance. Oh shit! He's just standing right there, or he's sitting right there watching everything. I'm not taking it all off. That is just traumatizing. More than shooting Father Judah, Jesus. Oh god, no. I'm not taking anything off. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, boo me! Go ahead, boo me! Boo yourselves! Go back to your wives! You filthy good for nothings! Yeah, I'm walking around. In all the clothing. What are you gonna do about it? Keep dancing to no music. Yeah, buddy. I love you. <laughs> the guy's just like, I love you. Yeah, I love you, Jenny. All right. Am I doing the robot now? Oh, what the? Oh, shit. I thought she was doing the robot. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, what just happened? Lou, are you alive? Oh, it's okay. I didn't want to, Kiki. Stop it. We've got about 50 bucks in tips. But Kiki will kick in a small gift. It's for Mitch. I won't forget this. You saved my ass today, after all. In two weeks, this joint is going under the hammer anyways. Aww. You guys can stay here till then. I don't have that much time, sadly. What's going on with her? Something Obviously she has like you? some kind of illness, but what? Nothing serious. I'm thinking just the opposite, sweetheart. Think what you want. That day when I ran off with Frank. Sure you want to bring this up now? You were talking by the bar with my father. I had a feeling. He came back a few more times, but I got rid of him. Just another daddy who suddenly remembered his little girl. 
I'd like him to take care of Mitch. What about Frank? Does he know about the kid? No. It's your choice, girl. Thanks, Kiki, for everything. We'll be gone by morning. Yeah, I know. At least this time you're not skipping town without a word. Good night, Lou. Good night, Kiki. So right now with Mitch, we have 31% righteousness, 78% confidence, and 100% relations. I have to increase those as much as I they can. They spoke softly. They thought I was asleep. But? There's a but, right? There's always a but. You know, they thought I was asleep, but I wasn't, and I learned everything. I'm not sure I if Mom everything. just wanted to make up for that strange rest stop at Kiki's the day before. Or if she just wanted me to stop asking about Dad for a while. Because I did. Whatever it was, she succeeded. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, let's cool. go. Don't go over 60. Oh, she's teaching him how to drive. That's dope. Okay. Whoa! Okay, this is what it looks like when an eight-year-old drives. Shit. Okay. So let's just stay on the road. And don't go over 60, she said. Let's obey our mom. Because she's been good to us. You're doing well, Why honey. not be good to her? Thanks, mom. Yep, thank you, mom. Thank you, mommy. You know what? I don't know if I ever told you all this, but my mom hated it when I called her anything but mom. I would call her ma. I would call her mommy. Great. I would call her mama, and she would like be pissed. A pro. You can speed up a little. Okay. Just watch out for the other cars. Got it. Okay, mom. Driving's fun. Yeah, it's all right. Get you from point A to point B. Fast, not too furious. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's overtake okay, this slow bastard. Okay, take it easy now. Okay. Speed up and pass this car. Okay. Got it. Oh, yeah. Put the pedal to the metal, my boy. Put the pedal to the metal, my boy. Mom, where are we driving to now? Sorry, that adrenaline kicked in. Tell the truth. Oh, my God. I got to make a choice and drive. I want to find... And she really wants me to do illegal things. It's a double yellow line. You're not supposed to overtake anybody on a double yellow. I'm just letting you all know that. You did great. Oh, running out of gas. See, that's what you get, trying to overtake all these people. But yeah, if it's a solid double yellow line, you're not allowed to pass that. Imagine it as like a barrier. If it was like a dotted white line, then that means you could. But it's a solid double yellow. That's a big no-no in the driving world. I'm just letting you all know that right now. I'm always fascinated by gas stations like this. Like, who works there? Are these like family owned? <sighs> Damn. What? This is like in the middle of buttfuck Can't nowhere. Find my wallet. Maybe it's in the trunk. Maybe. Let's see. Um. Well, at least we still have our gun. Did you find it? Bite your tongue or curse. Let me bite my tongue. Motherfuck. <laughs> No, I can't find it. <laughs> so, how can we get some Wait, gas Wait, why did now? that lower the confidence That's of That's what you get for putting out for n****. What the- Get the gun I back out. brings trouble. The Wait, hell? The car, but mom. Wait in the car, Mitch. You got a problem, man? I'ma slap somebody's ass. Me, slut? Oh, wait. I'm Mitch. Oh, wait. <gasps> no! I told you there's gonna Mitchy be trouble. Mitch! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Give it back, Mitch. No freaking way, dude! He learned it from her. Whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on? At the family dinner. You better drop that gun. Or oh, what? Joe's gonna hurt you real bad. Joe, no, nah. put the gun on the ground. And do it nice and easy. Yep, nice and slowly. Don't listen to that poor Joe. You're really gonna earn your blown out balls. <laughs> blown out balls. Better do as she tells Gross. you. I think you've only got one choice, Joe. Convince him or shoot the can. I'm shooting the you can. You think I'm bluffing? Okay, yep. okay. Yep. Take Put it the gun easy. Down. Yeah. Yeah, turn me up. Thank you. Everybody, hands up and on your knees. If she gives that to Mitch, I was gonna say. You could have shown some balls, Joe. You're asking for it. 
Mom, no! Good choice. Rob them, run away. I'm not gonna rob them. I'm running away. Nobody gets up until I'm gone. Why would you rob them? He's just gonna teach Mitch that things like that are okay. That's why he got the gun and shot the dude. Or at least he shot the air. We're kind of lucky right that then, he missed the guy. I learned a yin and yang principle from my mother. Sometimes you need to be tough. And sometimes you need to chill the fuck out. I agree. I didn't understand it then, but I would have done the same thing today. Yeah, my mother did all now. of that for me out of desperation. Especially if you think back to the beginning when the old man dropped the $5. Mitch gave the $5 back. It's just teaching him that stealing from other people is Let's okay, but it's not okay. Let's get off the main road, Mom. They could be following us. What about the gas? Do we Where still have gas for that ass? Stuff? From movies. I guess. What if they are following us? That'd be What's creepy. wrong with the car? I don't know. It's an old beat up piece of shit. That's what it is. Doing its thing. I think we lost them. Oh, my hands are still shaking. That was intense, Mom. That wasn't that intense. Boost Mitch's self-confidence. Apologize for the gas station stunt. Scold. It was, uh... I don't know. I mean, nobody should ever talk to you like that. Because that person was just being racist. And he was being really, really rude to Louise. But... I don't know. Let's boost that self-confidence. Don't let anybody push you around. Ever. What do we do if the cops want to stop us? Pull over? Pedal to the metal? That's just asking for bad news. But even pulling over, cops, you know, they're still shady as fuck. So even if you pull over, that doesn't mean it's going to be a good thing. But you would rather pull over than put the pedal to the metal because that's never going to end well. It's best not to mess with the cops. We're going to pull over and do exactly as they say, okay? What if they're not nice? Exactly. Better get used to it. You're bound to run into a nasty cop in your future. Let's see what That's happens crazy. here. Ah, it's hot. Like things never change. History just Let's repeats see if you itself. can find something in the trunk to open the hood with. And put a hat on. The sun is terrible. You know, that's one thing when I went to visit a dermatologist because my acne was getting really bad. They told me to really keep my face out of the sun because the sun really makes your acne just like pop out more. So I put sunscreen on my face all the time and it actually helped a lot. But we got the hat and we got the gun. Damn, the gun is useful for everything. Will you teach me? Scold, agree, instruct. Yeah. You didn't need my help at the gas station. But okay, I'll show you how to handle a gun responsibly. First things first, don't point it at your mom. I don't even know how to handle a gun. Um, this rifle is called Winch. Oh, I thought it was called the Chick Chick thing. Winchester 1886. How do you? It's in all the westerns. Even the Indians have them. How about the blacks? Uh, I've never seen a western with black people. So why did you say even the Indians? Are the Indians inferior? Well, no. But they had bows and arrows first. When you stop dividing people into Indians or Blacks, the world becomes more pleasant. Okay. This is where you open it. That's a valuable life lesson right there. This is how you take aim and bang. You got it? That's easy. Now aim at some bush. Okay. How do I aim? Give me the gun. Someone's coming. Oh shit! Didn't even see that asshole! Keep quiet, Mitch. We don't know who that is. Okay, I can't Mom. even see him. What the heck? Keep the gun on you at least. Overheated? Get rid of him or lie? Let's get rid of him. Uh, no comprende. No, oh, no come on. No speak a... I okay. Hmm. You shouldn't start it for a while. Uh, si, senora. Gracias. Running from someone? Why? Get rid of him or ignore? Why? Why do you ask? An overheated car in the middle of a desert? Windshield shot through? Worst attempt at Spanish I've ever heard. 
Yikes. Did you see a horse run by here? A horse? Mitch. Name's Wee. He's white with black spots. Wee. We haven't seen any horse. He's always running away from my uncle. Sure you don't want any help? The wind is picking up. Ask for help. You know what? We might as well. There's no help for Miles. Can you give us a tow? Sure. Just need to get a tow line for my uncle. I know we shouldn't be so trusting, Dang, but what else is going to come? Why? Maybe he really wanted to help. It's not like we can call for Uber in 1969. It's true. The wind is picking up. I don't trust him, but I'm also like, what else are we going to do? We have a gun, too. We have two guns. She put a pistol in her pocket that she robbed from the guy Joe at the gas station, so it is what it is. I wonder if we're going to see the horse. You're not feeling well, Mom? I'm just a little dizzy, that's all. Can I look around? Just don't go very far. Okay, everybody. I think now is the perfect time to end today's episode. I don't know how long this game actually is, but it is interesting to me. I wanted to know if any of the choices that I made, you would have said something different, but I really feel like there's not that many choices that you can mold into what you specifically want. I feel like there's directions that the choices are making, but they're in a way where it's like kind of broad and it's not really what you want. It's kind of just like a general direction, I guess, if that even makes sense. So let me know if you want me to finish this game in the next episode. I would appreciate it if you left me a comment, giving me your feedback about what you think so far. But if you enjoyed this video and want the next part, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude.